Welcome back, this is Mindy, and this is video number two of my Hiba Who Bang Store mini haul, or big haul, I don't know. Um, this one I'm going to do by itself, because I think I'm going to do this one up pretty quick. This one's larger. It's a 40 by 50. You can already tell it comes with this, uh, the pre-printed frame around it. This one costs $6.83. Um, love this one. Just love this one. So, let's unroll it. It's gonna be big. Unroll, 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 unroll. And oh my goodness, I can see some beautiful colors in there. Beautiful colors. Same toolkit as the last time, just a basic, basic toolkit. Let me see if I can do something with this. It's very folded. Definitely going to require an iron. I think I'm doing all of these videos just one in a row. You won't, you won't see them all in a row. But I'm doing them bing, bing, bing. And I think when I'm done unpackaging all of these, I'm just going to get my iron out, roll the iron over every single one because all of them are like this. Alright, there it is. Isn't it pretty? I don't even know if you can get the whole thing in there. How far do I have to go to show you the whole thing? He's cool. Isn't he beautiful? It's a horse. And he is so pretty. So stinking pretty. It's big. I just did a, a fairy kind of girl like this came with the frame around and it was this size. They're big. They work up really nice. I don't have the other one framed yet because I don't know what to frame this in. I just don't know. Um, the other one I thought maybe I could cut off some of the frame, but you really can't because look, I mean, that forelock of his is going right up into that pre-printed frame. But I mean, everything's clear. Sorry, except for me bumping the camera, but everything's clear. Be easy to do. Look at those blue right there. You know what those are? Hearts. Yep, we're going to get some hearts in this one. And I can already tell we're going to get some little, itty, bitty, tiny, tiny, either little teardrops or something. Those little green ones are going to be itty, bitty. And they're up here and they're, oh my goodness. I have a painting like that which I haven't done yet. Oh, they're little. I don't even know how you pick those up. Hopefully they pick up with a drill pin. Because I don't think you can pick them up with tweezers. Sometimes the bigger shapes, I just pick them up with my fingers. I literally just put them on with my fingers. There's a lot of special shapes here. Those are all special shapes. And these are the rhinestones. Well, they're not all rhinestones either. We'll talk about that when we get to them. So, purple rhinestone, green rhinestone, blue rhinestone, red rhinestone. Are we missing any colors yet? Oh, gold rhinestone. These are AB. These are a goldy orange color AB. I've never had those before. Those are super pretty. And these are a purpley blue AB. Like purple, really, because I go with whatever the color on the back is. I've had blue on the back. I've had black on the back. And this is definitely purple. All right. Cool. All right. Here we go. I'm going to pull these guys out because this is what I'm talking about. These guys are so tiny. They are just tiny, tiny, tiny little teardrops in a red and a gold and a purple. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I hope they pick up okay with a drill pen because they are itty bitty. All right. Then we have, these are gorgeous. I've never had anything this big, just this red, smooth clear. These are a purple faceted. Those are beautiful. These are a 
orangey circle faceted, round faceted. Those are beautiful. Then we get into some, I've had these before. I have these on another painting. These are really cool. They're just like a, I don't know. They're not, they're not clear. They'd be like an opaque, but with the finish on them, the teardrop. They're really cool. Those are really neat. And then we have these. These are big. And these are, you know, the clear with the silver on the back. And those are like a, I don't know, a burnt orange maybe? Yeah. And then the hearts. And the hearts are pink. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Yeah, it's going to be so pretty. That's why I'm going to do this one by itself. Um, and, oh going to tackle these. They're going to make all those little flowers. All the little petals for all the flowers are going to be made out of these little tiny creatures right there. Oh boy. Wish me luck, right? Yeah, wish me luck. Alright, so I'm going to do this one. I'm working on a painting for my son right now, which is a beast. You'll see that one when I'm done with it. It's just a beast. And then I think when I'm done with that, because it is such a I'll do this because this will be fun. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm saving this one for later, and I'll get back with you when it's done. Okay, so I am back with the finished horse picture. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, the sparkle on this is just amazing. All right, it had a lot of special shapes to it. Um, it had like six or seven, let's see, I got them right here. Six or seven rhinestones, just the small rhinestones. Seven rhinestones. Then it had some larger ones. And then all the rest of them, out of 16 different stones, were special shapes. All right, so he's really pretty. Or she, I think she's a she. I don't know why. Um, the hearts were really neat. There's a lot of hearts. These, I'm going to tell you, I have a couple paintings with these. And I've seen some people unbox these, these little sliver things, these little tiny, tiny teardrops. They're a pain. I have noticed that most of the paintings I have received them in, they are making a flower like this. So they're all the individual little petals around a flower. They are hard to do. I did place them with a drill pen with a lot of wax. Okay, so I got a lot of wax in my drill pen and these would stick to it pretty good. If you get them down in the wrong direction, they're a little tricky to move. Tweezers can help you move them, um, but they're really, they're tricky. They take some time. They're pretty when they're done. They make a beautiful flower, but they're tricky. They're, they're a little hard, all right? Um, these right here are gorgeous. These orange teardrop type things are beautiful. And see, I had a lot of those flowers. Look up. There's one. There's five right there. There's another one. There's a bunch of them. So I kind of did a lot of those in the middle and got them out of the way so I could finish with something fun. I always like to finish with something fun. I don't know. I'm weird that way. But anyhow. These AB diamonds right here are beautiful. They're beautiful. They're yellow on the back. Okay, let me show you. They're yellow or orange. They're an orangey color on the back. And then they are just like gold on the front. They're beautiful. They are so bright. They just reflect gold, really. It's cool. All right. So, um, what else is there about this that's special? Um, I was not a fan of the just this light mint green background, but, but it's all right. Um, I just did another painting of a beautiful girl, and she comes with this um, printed frame. And on her, I cut off one layer of the frame. So, like right here, I cut it off. All right, because I'm not a fan of the double frame thing. I think it just looks kind of a little cheesy. So I cut it off. And I was thinking I would do the same thing with this. And then I came here and I was like, um, well, his foot goes over the line a little bit. Okay. And then up here at the top, I'm like, well, and then his forelock comes up here over this line. I'm still thinking I might cut off this layer of the frame from this black line 
up and leave the forelock, just cut around the forelock. I mean, I cut out an entire elephant one time, you guys, because I didn't like the background. So, you know, um, I'm still thinking I might cut off this part of this frame, and that would be kind of cool. Whatever I decide to mount this on, that forelock would just kind of stick up onto that, just like the hoof down here would. The little hoof down here, this little part of it would just, just a little bit of it would just stick off onto whatever I put behind this because I'll put it on something else before I put it in a frame. Or, you know, maybe I won't. We'll see. The other one I just put onto a, um, it was a hard, just a really hard wood kind of frame. It had a picture painted on it and I just covered up the picture. But it's gorgeous. It is so pretty and so sparkly. Look at that big dazzy flowery thing up at the top. It was a lot of fun. Um, I did have lots of stuff left over. I mean, not lots. I mean, I have that much of the orangey one left, but there was something left of everything. Even the special, even the special shapes, I had some left over. And so I've been saving those and I'll continue to save these. Sometimes I can match these up, and sometimes I can't. Um, I, I kind of tried to work out of the bags at first, and things started just falling out. and So then I kitted it up and put my trash over there. <laughs> There's my trash. And I just, they had fuzzy things on them. They had, like, strings hanging off them. It was kind of weird, but anyhow. These are so much fun, and they are so stunning when they are done. So there is the finish of... My beautiful special drill horse. Isn't she pretty? Look at that sparkle. It's just gorgeous. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like this, I'll link it in the bottom. You can pick one up. And um, I'm on to my next project. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.